Hello and welcome back to another exciting rendition of Fan Friction, the show where we take the finest fan fictions and read them to the fans of those fictions. Today, I am once again joined by the greatest man I've ever known, Jack Thomas. Hello, Jack. Hello. So, what fiction do you want me to read today? Alright, well, I must thought on this one. I okay. think... Yes? Maybe something Doctor Who? Ooh, Doctor Who. Uh, if anybody knows fan fiction, they know that there are a plethora of options. <laughs> However, I think I've picked a very, very good one. This is called yes. The Adventures of the Doctor, as written by someone who has never seen the show. Sounds really good. This is by Miscellaneous Soup. Oh. Let's begin. Oh, I know. You never know. Majestically, the TARDIS flew around the cosmos, randomly teleporting across space and time. The Doctor sat in a chair, accompanied by his companion, Clara. Companions are people who travel with the Doctor for some reason. I think I really know companion is. Well, he clearly does not. So, Doctor, Clara said, what shall we do today? The Doctor grinned. What we do every day, Clara. Travel through space and time. Pinky in the brain. Yes. <laughs> he activated a set of controls on the TARDIS, sending them to a crime-ridden New York. Right during a nasty gang war, oh, smiling, the two adventurers exited the TARDIS. Okay. There must be a lot of the Doctor Who movie, oh. where, if you've ever seen it, the Doctor regenerates after being shot by a gangster. Oh. Hey, who's this guy? One of the monsters said. Jimmy, Mateus, plug him. The criminals immediately started firing machine guns at them, only for the Doctor and Clara to teleport away. Five minutes ago, the Doctor returned, randomly with a police officer. You're under arrest, I guess, the police officer procured several handcuffs. Okay. Ha! The Doctor yelled. I can time travel, so you can't hurt me. Eat it. He then walked back <laughs> to the TARDIS and immediately tripped over a corpse. Ow! I got a paper cut! Clara ran into the TARDIS, pressing a button. Quick! Get in! The doctor stumbled in, his leg twitching. How do I even get a paper cut? There was no paper around. That's a good question. I suspect time is the answer. Yes. Wait! I'm regenerating! He oh, fell shit. to the ground, twitching and groaning. As Clara helped him into the TARDIS, a cocoon of glowing energy surrounded him. As soon as the cocoon slowly faded, the doctor looked completely different. He was wearing a green suit and a bowler hat with red hair and question marks covering his clothing. What's this? I look like a stupid villain. Grumbling, he whacked himself in the knee with a random plank of wood. Ow! Regenerating again. What? I don't think this is After how it several works. more attempts, the doctor was now a toddler. He shrugged his tiny shoulders. Ah, uh, good enough. I can't lift my song screwdriver, sadly. Say, do I still have the voice of an adult? Why have you a song screwdriver? I, it's just a screwdriver. I don't know how a toddler could lift, lift yeah. that. It's not like Mjolnir. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Clara looked through the manual. No idea. Hey, look, okay. it's a dinosaur ramp rampaging through New Jersey. Oh. Nibbling on his pacifier, the doctor rolled his eyes. Oh, it's New Jersey. Who cares? Clara searched through the list of various time emergencies. A tornado is wreaking havoc in Kansas. How about that? He so nodded, so they went to Kansas. I thought they weren't supposed to intervene. Well... Is this just time detectives? Yeah. So As, well, you know, the doctor always intervenes. Oh, yeah. So they went to Kansas circa 1939. Okay. The doctor lazily flicked his sonic screwdriver, immediately making the tornado go away. That was too easy. We can travel through time. Let's <laughs> organize the world's most impressive party. That's One, the next step from Oh, yeah, obviously. I mean, you know, yeah, if, blood's pumped in, if yes. you're bored of being a superhero, you obviously throw a party. <laughs> One impressive party later, the doctor, now a wizened old man in his 90s, groaned. How long was the party? That was a big, old, that was a long party. <laughs> party. Wow, that was one great party. I've never seen William Taft that drunk. Clara sipped a martini. <laughs> Wasn't it exciting when Genghis Khan and the Master invaded the party? We stopped them with the combined forces of Batman, Sherlock Holmes, Jim Henson, Billy West, and an inanimate carbon rod. The doctor nodded. It was so hard to regenerate 17 times over. Oh, wait a moment. <laughs> Batman is a fictional character. How could we have met him? That's a good question. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's Batman. I mean, you know. Mm. Well, we did meet Satan, Kara said. 
A simple Google search can find find that oh. out. <laughs> Suddenly, a Dalek bursts into the room. Oh, good. I like them. Exterminate! Exterminate! As they go. With one flick of a screwdriver, it bursts into flame, <laughs> destroying sick. half the TARDIS. The Doctor explained the destruction with watery, crusty eyes. Well, poop, Claire. Could you... <laughs> Claire? Claire was dead, <laughs> impaled by a portion of the Dalek's shattered body. Oh, no. Quickly, the Doctor went back in time. Hi, Claire. Claire waved. <laughs> Hi, Doctor. Listen, Claire. You got the day off. I'll drop you off in some other galaxy for a fun vacation. Sounds lovely. Claire immediately started searching through brochures. Thanks. Have a great day. The doctor beams. Isn't time travel awesome? Hey, wait a minute. Don't I don't think I'm supposed to be able to regenerate over a certain number of times. Right. Ack. The doctor died of a heart attack. <laughs> Claire would move to Al- Alabama and live a long, happy life. The doctor's right. corpse was spit on and kicked by all the other doctors. Why? William Taft <laughs> continued to get drunk until he got stuck in a bathtub. <laughs> Miscellaneous Soup received a lot of angry reviews for his idiocy. Everything was as it should be. <laughs> the end. Wait, didn't they just, didn't they just break the, the fourth wall there? He might have done. Oh, nice. Brilliant. So... How do you how do you how do I feel? How do you feel? Good? Confused. Good confused? A bit of both, I think. I enjoyed it, it was alright. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Thank you for watching Fan Friction again, everybody. Uh tune come back next week for another exciting rendition. Goodbye! Oh, gee. Oh, God, this is a long way down. Oh, oh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I guess I should use this time productively and thank you guys for supporting us and, you know, being. Oh, God. Oh, it's tiring falling so far. Jeez. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, the gravity's a bit off. Um, mm, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, I slipped both the cliffs, <laughs> I slipped both the cliffs. <laughs>